Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of a small business collective haul. One of them isn't really a small business but I'm kind of putting it in with this because it's kind of Halloween themed. So yes, there is a lot to go through so I might be going at a quicker pace than normal just because I do have five companies to go through. But as always, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll discover some new companies. I think I've talked about all of them before, but maybe if you haven't seen those videos and you see this one, you will discover some new ones. So yes, do subscribe and I will get into the video now. So I will start with Grimly Fiendish Crafts. I mean, you probably all guessed that she was going to be in this video. <laughs> Whenever I do a collective haul I always have a piece from her. She did a new shop update. I know she's working on her Halloween collection at the moment but she has had candy corns in her shop for a really long time but none of them really grabbed my attention I guess. Like they all looked very very cute but there wasn't that one that I just couldn't resist until now. <laughs> Before she does a shop update, she always kind of posts kind of a general idea of what's going up on her Etsy and she usually does a countdown and everything. So you'll definitely know what's going up, when it's going up, all of that stuff. And she put up these photos of these candy corn hoops and one of them just melted my heart. I did go onto her Etsy shop and that's where I bought this one. So as always, the packaging was amazing. If you don't follow my Instagram, I will put it on the screen for you here. I did do like a photo of this. I did a unboxing kind of reel. So if you do want to see more small businesses and more like gothic fashion content, definitely follow my Instagram. So if you've seen that reel, you'll know how this came packaged, but there was this orange tissue paper. And then inside was her striped bag with her logo there. And then under here was all of the confetti that she uses. I think most of it, yeah, most of it's kind of in the box. But she does put this really nice kind of Halloween confetti in. And then this is her logo on the bag. On top, she always puts in these leaflets and this says, thank you, thank you for your order. And then basically to tag her on Instagram and this is all of her details. So yes, that was the little thank you note. I will have all of the links that you will need in the description box. I generally put like the shop link, the specific item if I can find it, and also their Instagram. So do check out the description box if you want links to everything because they will be in there. And then the actual candy corn itself is this it's the mouth i think i think it's the mouth it's so cute he looks a little bit shy a little bit awkward just very very adorable so this is him up close i mean look at the little face i literally couldn't resist that <laughs> so this is on one of her kind of classic I would say round hoops. This is kind of the standard size. So the candy corn's on a black felt background and then the hoop is as always like a plastic so it's quite light to hang up with this. And then basically he's a candy corn. So he is stuffed to kind of give him that 3D look. And he's got these huge glassy eyes which I think is why he's so adorable. And then this little, little awkward shy mouth. <laughs> I'm not sure where he'll go. He might go on this wall rather than that wall because he is a little bit more Halloween-y rather than kind of gothic. So yeah, I really, really like him. I'm really pleased with him and I need to put him up on my wall ASAP. <laughs> so yeah, I did get this very cute candy corn. As always with Grimly Fiendish Crafts, her customer service is like 10 out of 10. Her quality is incredible. She packs and ships stuff off to you like immediately. She's such a good business owner <laughs> such a lovely shop to support too so yeah i did get this really cute candy corn and that's the first shop i'll go on to the second one quite quickly so the next lot of items are from the beauty vault i did a video maybe last year including them and i think the beauty vault themselves makes bath bombs but they're kind of a stockist for other brands so they'll do like Bubba's Melties, they've got some American brands as well. What's is it Lunatic Cosmetics? I think they do them. Medusa's makeup, which is American. And basically I was looking for a white eyeshadow. Now I'm not entirely sure 
my feelings on this so this isn't a review of their products this is kind of like this is what I got if you're looking for it they might have it <laughs> but I did pick up some eyeshadows and this is their branding like their leaflet business card and then I basically got two eyeshadows and a bath bomb so I mainly went for the eyeshadow and I picked the brand concrete minerals this is an american brand so if you're looking for american makeup then definitely check them out because they might have the brand you're looking for and this is a pro matte eyeshadow in the shade confession and it's basically just a bright white i'm not going to tip this because it will go everywhere but hopefully you can see it's one of those ones where it's kind of loose but i was using the nyx white eyeshadow and it got discontinued i think maybe a year ago but i had so much left in it and i finally ran out and i'm really sad because i'm really struggling to find one that's as white like if you look at my eyeshadow now this was like the nyx pencil with this on top of it so i did use this when i went for a london trip and i did notice that by the end of the day it wasn't as bright so i'll have to still experiment with that um, and see whether it can replace the next one because it was so good and it was only three pounds very sad but that one did cost six pounds and then i saw this shade and i thought it looked so pretty and again same brand concrete minerals and this is the mineral eyeshadow in the shade lolita and it's basically a pinky gray kind of color it's really unique so this is what the eyeshadow looks like i will just open it so you can see it's kind of like a pinky gray like mouth is that how you, they say it <laughs> that kind of color it's really unique and it does have a shimmer to it it does look really pretty when i swatched it and then i just saw this and i really liked the shape and the name of it so i did pick this up now this is from the beauty vault like this is what they do and this was called the black death bath bomb this one costs five pounds fifty kind of average price i'd say now for a bath bomb but it is a very big bath bomb and i really liked that it's red because i did use the bethory i think is how you say it from hex bomb absolutely loved it but now i don't have a red bath bomb so i did pick up this really excited to use this one so yeah, I did pick up this and I really, really like the smell of it. It almost smells like Parma Violets, but I could be wrong. <laughs> so I did pick up this Black Death bath bomb. So my total for that came to £21.99, including the £4.50 shipping. So that was my order from the Beauty Vault. As I said, really recommend them if you're looking for maybe brands that you can't find easily or if they're American or if you just want some really cool spooky gothic bath bombs like that's your place. The third one is the one that isn't a small business. So if you love Bath and Body Works, you may or may not know that there's a group on Facebook where you can kind of get them shipped to you. So people actually go to America and then they bring back people's orders. So you don't have to do that whole, what's it called? There's like a way you can get shipping, but it's really expensive. You get tax, like all of that um, with like customs and everything. So I'm in that group and I just was kind of scrolling through Facebook and I saw this on Instagram. Um, and I just kind of assumed like, oh, I'll never find that because it is from Bath and Body Works. And I managed to get it through the selling group. I literally just got like one of the last few ones because obviously this is a very popular product. So everyone just like raced to the post to comment. So I was really lucky to get hold of this one. It cut me off and I'm not sure where I got up to. But I was saying about this, I was saying that they're really hard to get hold of. So I just kind of thought oh i'll never get that and then i saw it in the group and i'm so so grateful i managed to get this because it is a pumpkin spice latte and it looks like the pumpkin cup i own so i really liked that too but this is him up close so he has like a little handle the most adorable little face this is like syrup and then it's on one of these clips and then i did also buy one of the pocket backs i think this scent is wicked apple i'm just trying to get it out so i did buy this for the scent but it does also help that there is a very cute ghost with a bow on it <laughs> so i did get this one as well from the same seller as i was paying for postage and everything this is what this one looks like 
So it's in the scent Wicked Apple, it's green. And look at this design, it's literally gorgeous. The ghost and everything. So yeah, that does just go into here. And then you've got a very cute pocket back holder. I do collect these <laughs> at this point. I did have a lovely subscriber send some things to me two years in a row so I've got quite a lot of pocket back holders from her which I absolutely love. I've got like a pumpkin, a bat, a witch, a ghost, a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> like I do have quite the collection but I think they're so fun. They have a purpose as well as looking adorable so I really do like them. So if you are a Bath and Body Works fan um, I'll leave the group linked in the description box so you can find it because I highly highly recommend um, if you're after something you can also put in an order as well. I did get that from there but I thought I'd mention it because I, I know a lot of people love Bath and Body Works especially their Halloween and Christmas collection so do check out that group. There are a few others that I do like too but that's where I got that one from. And then the last two companies are jewellery companies and they are Chains and Charms and Baby Blue Bat Boutique. So I'm not sure by the time this video goes up if the if the giveaway is still going but basically I did do a whole summer giveaway and both Chains and Charms and Baby Blue Bat Boutique put in prizes for the giveaway and they also really kindly included some extra things for me. So both of these next few things are gifted which was so so lovely of them. I do have a code for each of them too which I will go through as I go through each one but I will start with Chains and Charms so you probably have heard of Chains and Charms before um the owner Amy is so so lovely and yeah I've mentioned them quite a few times on my channel so the packaging came in this purple and white striped bag and that's her logo there and then inside was this leaflet So yeah, that's her leaflet. And then inside was some of her new collection. So she put in a necklace and bracelet for me. And these are so pretty. So I'll start with the bracelet. And this is a mother of pearl bracelet. So honestly, these two things weren't things that I necessarily would have picked from her shop. But I've worn these so much and I absolutely love them. And they're, I'd say they're so much prettier in person. Um, although her photography is good. <laughs> yeah, Mother of Pearl is like, I'm not sure if it's a crystal. I'm not really sure what you'd call it, but I actually have Mother of Pearl on my cello bow and some of them don't have it. And if they don't have it, it's a bit like, oh, you don't have the Mother of Pearl on your bow. So I do know of that from there. I know that's a bit random. Um, but yeah, this is the same material and it's a very kind of dainty beaded mother of pearl bracelet and you can see all the kind of would you call it flash i'm not sure maybe but it's so so pretty when it catches the light i might actually wear it today um because i do love beaded bracelets especially crystals like they're all crystals on my wrists right now <laughs> so yeah this is very very pretty very elegant and i really do like this one so yeah i did get so yeah, I did, no, my voice isn't happening. It's not happening. This is my third video recording in a row, so that's why my voice is a bit like croaky. Um, but yeah, she did kindly send this. And then this necklace is literally stunning. So this is her mother of pearl crescent moon necklace. And the crescent moon itself is mother of pearl. And again, it's got a really nice kind of flash or shine to it when it catches the light it's so pretty and then it's on a really nice thick stainless steel chain and i think that's what really adds to this because although it's a dainty necklace she could have really easily put it on a really dainty chain and i don't know i feel like this just works so much better for it because the chain is so thick it almost sits like circular on your neck i don't know if that makes sense but instead of sitting like like that it really sits like this if you have it up high enough and I just think the effect of that is really pretty so yeah that is the crescent moon necklace it's really like I've wore it more than I 
thought I would when I opened it. Um, so really impressed with this and if someone took this away from me and I had to rebuy it I would because I really do like this one. I think it's really pretty and definitely more chunky than I thought it would be. So those were the two items that were gifted to me from Chains and Charms. So thank you to Amy if she is watching this video. I really do love both of these. So my code for Chains and Charms is simply spooky15. I will put it on the screen for you here. So do use that code if you want 15% off your order. And she's also... I'm not sure if she's rebranding but she's doing something new um she put like changes are coming so definitely keep an eye out for what's to come because it looks like she's got something very exciting planned so yes thank you to chains and charms for that and then the last shop is baby blue bat boutique so again she put something in for the giveaway and then gave me some extra necklaces so the packaging for her was this kind of spotty bag and then she put in some candy corn confetti which I have never seen before I don't know if this is going to focus because it's, it's literally tiny but it's little candy corns it's so cute and then she put to Kirsty love Kate and then she drew this and I think it's cute <laughs> she probably doesn't want me to show you but it says terrible toadstool <laughs> so yeah that was the bag that everything came in and then there was her business card that says baby blue bat boutique with all of her details and then it says Kirsty, thank you for working with me again of kate and then there was also this really cute cupcake sticker i don't know where she gets her stickers but these are so cute so it's a cupcake with heart eyes and it actually looks like a skull i'm seeing now with bat wings and then a candy corn and a cat very spooky very halloweeny and then also this i completely forgot about this until i went to film the video and she's put in a i never know how you say this brand i think it's a cola flavored one by the looks of it i'm not sure how you say the name of that brand but it's probably one that you recognise if you're in the UK. So she did put one of these lollipops in, which I will enjoy. <laughs> and then she put in two organza bags and they've both got... Oh my gosh, I've just, <laughs> just thrown it across the floor. Both of these have necklaces in. One of them's a tarot card and one of them is the most adorable little mushroom. So both of these come on the black cord with a extender chain, just like that. And this is kind of one of those fake leather effect ribbon cords. And then on the end of this is a tarot card and it says La Luna. And this is kind of a plastic. So it's got this really pretty design. As I said, it's supposed to look like a tarot card and it is double sided with a moon and crystals. Very, very pretty. Definitely if you want that kind of elegant witchy look, like I feel like this would be very pretty um so there is this one and also if you don't like the black core chain you could really easily switch it out for a different chain this is the same company that makes the really pretty death head moth necklace i've worn that so many times and i love it so yes this was the first one this next one is definitely my favorite i think it's so cute and again it's on the black core chain and look it's a little toadstool <laughs> So this, I'm not sure what, maybe it, maybe it's a plastic, I'm not too sure, but it's a 3D toadstool. Very, very cute with the white spots on it. So that's the last item. really like both of these, but this one is definitely my favourite. I think it's really cute. Um, so if you like toadstool jewellery or any kind of elegant witchy jewellery, then definitely check out her shop. She also has the poison apple necklaces, which I love. So yeah, thank you to Kate for sending me these necklaces. As I said, I really like them. And I also have a code, and I believe it's Simply Spooky 10 I'll put it on the screen for you here my code only works on her etsy do use that code um if not then definitely go to her depop shop i'll have both linked in the description for you so that is everything i have to show you that was definitely longer than i thought it would be <laughs> my collectibles always are a bit longer but 
I really hope you discovered some, maybe some new companies, maybe some old favourites. So yeah, all of these shops are always constantly bringing out new stuff too. That's why I'm always kind of mentioning them because there's always something new, always very exciting. So I know a lot of you do like these companies as well. So do let me know which is your favourite shop out of the ones I showed you and also what's your favourite item. Do press the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload and as I said at the beginning please do subscribe if you like these collective hauls. I do have a small business playlist if you'd like to check that out I will link it in the eye for you because um, I do have quite a few now so if you want to discover even more small businesses do check out that playlist and yeah, do subscribe and I will see you hopefully in my next one. Bye.